Hey, good morning. Before everybody gets going this morning, I'm going to shoot a quick video. Um, we have road construction going on, so um, bear with me. You may not be able to hear me at times because of the noise. So um, this is a flat I started in the house of lettuce. I'm doing succession planting lettuce every three weeks. I am planting a new batch. I also happen to have in here, hopefully that's parsley. That's what I planted. What came up might be something entirely different, but that does happen. And bear with me here. Technical difficulties, there we go. So that's the tray of lettuce that's gonna go in next. Uh, we're gonna take a walk in the backyard today and see what's going on. So we switch over into bright, bright sunlight. You can see my tomatoes right here are not happy. They need to be transplanted. They also needed water. I just gave them some water, so hopefully they'll revive a bit. Uh, these are the overflow. I don't know where these are gonna go yet. Um, we have some problems in the squash patch and they may end up getting pulled and the tomatoes put in. I really don't know what to do with them. I have some herbs here. I have holy basil and probably some anise hyssop because we had a lot and then some um, snapdragons that need to still go in the front. And these guys are growing in the most shallow tray but they're still going good. You can see this tray is only a couple inches deep. Um, those are black plum cherries, uh, cherry, cherry, plum tomatoes. Sure, I can speak English. Um, let me go over here and we have some basil. I had some crop failures, so I started more basil. I had to get new seed. Um, These are some zinnias and some lime basil. They're going to go in the front yard. The um, potatoes that I put in the uh, fire ring ended up growing pretty good. And back here, these are um, black plum tomatoes. And we have a volunteer sunflower. There's some skirt I don't remember planting. And then we ended up with an allium. I went the purple flowering alliums. And um, I sheet mulched this area just because the comfrey was taking over. I need to trim that back. And I have, uh, those are horseradish. So, as we go up the steps, that's tarragon. This is all overgrown. I have not had a chance to weed. This is red vein sorrel. It's going to seed. I think there's a market turnip in there. And I did plant beets. They might be underneath here. They might not. So it looks like we're, I'm gonna let this all go to seed. And hopefully we'll have a lot more red bean sorrel next year. Um, this is a strawberry bed. The deer gave it a haircut and the birds have been at it. So what we did was we covered it with some tool. I have these wire hoops. Um, they don't do much to hold frost protection, but they do hold that lightweight um, French tool. I guess you call it tool. And then um, we had squirrels totally digging out the cinder block. And I'd end up with a pile of dirt. I don't know if you can see right here. That kind of looks like their work. And they've been planting all kinds of stuff. Um, and because of that, I have been going with um, chicken wire over the top of it. And I haven't moved this out yet. Um, at this point, they totally destroyed a radish crop and a pea crop. These were carrots that did not grow last year, that grew this year and are going to seed. Um, 
they might get pulled, they might get left for the bees. Hard to say. Um, you can see that's pretty thick underneath there. At this point, most of the strawberries have been harvested. Oh, look, we have another digger. That's what I come to every morning when I come up here is more digging. I pulled two walnut trees yesterday. And I'm sure I'm going to find pumpkin too, or some kind of squash from a seed mix. All right. So, take a pan out here. Um, we have two bags of potatoes over here. Um, we lost the uh, dogwood tree this year. It was 25 years old and it just wasn't in a really good location. Um, this is the compost. It's under a buckeye tree. And yeah, that's the compost. I need to get a, um, another pallet across here to contain it a little better because we have new neighbors with kids and I want to get that straightened out and contained a little better. All right, this is a zucchini bed. I planted huge quantities of spinach. It was supposed to be a succession crop. It didn't germinate or something ate it. So I have one little straggly, scraggly spinach going to seed. I have one zucchini that's doing well two that are thinking about it, some that the um, squirrel dug up entirely. He dug up my um, dark star zucchini. And this is one poor pathetic zucchini here, which may or may not grow. We'll see. Um, we found vine borer and I sprayed things down the other day. So these guys are looking better than they were. Maybe these guys will recover in here, the yellow crooknecks. Um, too late, I think, for the dark star. Um, on the other side of the same level is my cabbage patch. Now, in here I have one potato, some onions, some scallions, and some leeks. And two more potatoes kind of holding up the... <laughs> I ran short of cinder block. I need a lot more cinder block. But um, you make do with what you got. So these guys are looking good. I put down some um, Sluggo Plus to... Because um, we've been having more slug damage than um, cabbage worms at this point. Although, I'm seeing something in here. Maybe that's just dew. Are you? Yeah, that's just dew. But you can see the um, slug damage here. This had all been Claytonia, lettuce, and mosh, and spinach. It was a winter garden. And I'm just letting everybody go to seed and cutting things back around the cabbages that were put in here. So you can see this is lettuce that bolted and behind that is cabbage and that'll grow as those recede. And so I can succession plant these. Um, I have a hunch I'm gonna have a lot of Claytonia in my path down below and that's okay. The um, mylar is there to deter deer and it slid down. It didn't stay up where I had it, so I just left it tied to the post because I'm lazy. Um, in here I have red onions planted. And we'll see how many make it to maturity. Might not be this year, might be next year. We might just be a two-year kind of thing. And we got one strawberry here. That's spinach that bolted. Uh, 
and then it looks like I'm gonna have seeds for leeks for next year that was I don't know what the name of it was it might have been a King Richard it might have been a Tadorna but that is that's gonna bloom soon and we're just gonna let that go to seed so this is the back side of the um, sorrel patch On this side is raspberries. <laughs> I mean, one skirt that's trying to stick out. That was supposed to have been moved and apparently I missed a root. It's trying to compete. I wish it luck. I'm not gonna be able to harvest that. Um, we had some late frosts, so we're not going to get a huge crop of red raspberries this year. You can see there's a few starting to form, but not like last year. And we have black raspberries over here. These, I think, are first year growths, so they'll harvest be harvestable next year. Um, there is on the mulberry let's see there's almost nothing that's kind of it there's there's almost nothing on this tree this year we had a really late frost and we lost the entire crop so let's move on up to the center block garden up the hill I was worried about um, sun, so I hung some burlap up here to kind of shade these guys a little bit. It's got a, I have to finish this trellis. I don't know if you can see that. I have, yeah, just kind of hanging there. I need to actually um, get the other end of that up and make it a quad because two poles didn't cut it. They fell apart. So, what we have here is carrots grew on the side, which I'm happy about, but not a good location. Eventually, they got to come out early or get thinned because that'll split the block, actually. This is my butternut. The damage you see is actually from the spray that I put on for the vine borers, the squash vine borers. Um, that's really weird. I got a hold of some spray. I mixed it up per the directions, put it in a spray bottle, diluted it, and added um, some dish soap. And this is the only plant that took damage. Well, this, this type of plant. This is a butternut. Um, so that's kind of perplexing. So hopefully I'll learn from that for next year. These guys are my problem children. They are supposed to be a buttercup squash, winter squash, slash pumpkin. I don't know what to make of these guys. They're so yellow that that's why I put the curtain up here is thinking that maybe they were getting sunburned, that maybe they were getting... I don't know. And I thought, well, then maybe it's nitrogen. So I, I fed them. I gave them a compost tea that I made up. And it's helped somewhat. I think the compost tea helped more than the, the vine borer spray. But you can see they've got a little bit of leaf damage, too, from the spray. Unless it's just highlighting sunburn that they got when they were transplanted. I don't know. This is new for me. Um, this was supposed to be a huge section of beets. None of it really grew. I've got a few down here that came up, but, and this is a huge carrot patch that didn't become huge. So something's eating these things and I couldn't tell you what. Um, I've got garlic in the front and that'll be coming out probably in a couple weeks. We had, because of that late, late frost, I'm not really sure when to pull anything. So we're gonna see, this is gonna be a play by ear. Um, I planted almost an entire packet of marigolds in here and I think I got 
two plants. No, only one looks like I had one in here. It's gone. My squirrel's been digging. Okay, I'm gonna show you this while I'm up here. This actually turned out pretty good. I've gotta tie the tomatoes up the one more level now. Um, these are the Roma tomatoes. And that's what the framework looks like. And you'll see the row behind has a bed frame in it that I'm using as a tomato trellis. So these are the Roma. This bed had beans planted in it. They did not come up, or if they did, they got eaten by a deer. These are called potato onions. And they look like they're doing okay. They really look like they could use better soil and more water. I put um, parsnips in behind them. I don't know if those are going to grow. And mixed in with the tomatoes are peas that I planted. And then the last bed has uh, Swiss chard and kale and more potato onions. And then we've got roses, which just finished up. Going back to the cinder blocks here, you see my post. That's the post that let loose. So I got to get this thing put back where it was. Down here I put in, well I had had radishes and arugula that the arugula bolted way too quick. So now I've got um, eggplants. I've got three eggplants. Well, three pots of eggplant in here. We'll see what actually grows. And there are two Armenian cucumbers which may or may not survive. I've got to get those strung up as well. I've got a trip to the hardware store later today to finish this trellis. I need more PVC. Um, I have, looks like I have beans flowering and the uh, daikon radishes I put in there went to seed. I did not catch them quick enough. Um, and those are the, and ending up with the garlic on that side. Um, this I think is minatina, which is a salad plant. I grew them last year, went to seed. Um, I didn't get them soon enough and I'm just, at this point, I think they're going to be bitter. So I'm just going to leave those. And then the ever abundant lettuce garden. Now I've got, I picked up these clips. I can't tell you how happy I am with these clips. They've really made my life a whole lot easier. The netting is over these to prevent the birds from eating the lettuce. Um, the sparrows seem to go after it. But you can see how lovely that is. We're finishing up, these are turnips. We're finishing up, these are t like Tokyo Market turnips. Um, they're a salad turnip. And it's not the exact name, but that's what they are. They're little. Um, they're like white radishes, they're very tasty. And this is a couple, two, three different kinds of lettuce I got from uh, Baker's Creek. And I'm really happy with them. And then that's a red romaine lettuce. It's starting to bolt. Um, that'll get dug up next week. This is gonna get dug up this week and those, those transplants down below are gonna go in here and then I'm gonna start another batch. So what we're doing is we're rotating. We started with that one, we went to this one, then there was that one. That is actually not the same mix. That's a, um, uh, call it an everything mix. It was a, a um, assorted lettuces all in one package. And um, that came from MI Gardener. And I'm very happy with that too. It gives me a little bit more variety and so those will come out and the new new lettuce will go in there. We've been harvesting probably three ounces of salad every two to three days right now. You can see this is stuff I harvested yesterday. And I put in 
I put in my extra leaks. I had a lot of extra leaks um, in through here. And uh, we'll see how those turn out. And that's the upper garden. So I hope you all have a good day.